This is the comparison of the razor blade advanced versus the razor blade normal. 11th gen and 10th gen advanced, both eight cores. You can see that this is 140, 50 frames. This is about the same. However, there is sometimes a slight advantage here because this has got a muck switch. But with um, Warzone, you can see that most of it is uh, actually limited by something called uh, CPU time. So let's see if we can show you what we mean. So let's click on play again with the team. So it's all the same that works. The, the settings are pretty similar as well. So obviously um, 3070, 2080 Super. So 2080 Super, 3070. Well, we're getting the similar performance. So if you're interested in Warzone, you gotta know that actually uh, a higher graphics card doesn't really help. And even, in fact, the 11th gen doesn't help, which I'm surprised because in Geekbench, the 11th bench is a lot, lot faster. But um, as we saw in the previous ones, um, but in actual uh, gaming performance, there's like hardly anything different. So uh, we can put a, no, can't put, this doesn't seem to support NVIDIA. Okay, but this one, uh, okay. So anyways, interesting. So, NV so in, the, in this uh, latest drivers, so I guess also um, drivers are slightly different. But um, interesting that we're getting very, very similar performance. Okay, in this scene, interesting. In the start, um, we're actually getting slightly lower performance. It's probably because... Actually, it's not even CPU related. Uh, and this is about 95. Okay, so roughly the same. Yeah, it's very, very, very similar performance. And this is strange because this is, this is although using the MUX switch. So we get better performance when using the MUX switch. So uh, by the MUX switch, uh, if you don't know, uh, you can look up on other, other uh, YouTube channels, but uh, I can show you the MUX switch um, very quickly. Uh, this is the MUX switch on Razer panels. You, you launch Synapse and you go to here, GPU mode, dedicated GPU. So this is only visible on the advanced on this, on the standard one, even though it's a more modern uh, RTX 3070, it doesn't doesn't have that uh, because it's a standard model, so it's like so cheaper. But uh, yeah, all in all, uh, I'm impressed and a bit disappointed that actually there's no difference. But anyways, okay, in this case there is. We'll see. No, not sure what happened there, but yeah. Occasionally this is faster. Um, but in theory, this should be faster. In practice, uh, it completely depends, of course, on the scene. So let's see. What is going on? Okay, that's, that's now a lot faster. Could be to the cooling as well. So it's too many, too many factors, I guess. But there isn't a real, real performance difference between the two. And that's that's what's important to take away from this review. Um, I'm still debating whether the screen here is better or that one, but uh, I guess it also depends on the night mode. So, and both I have night mode on, just to reduce the blue light. And this is full strength though, with night light on. And they're here. Um, I'm not sure if why well, night mode. Okay. Maybe not the strength. Whoa, that's weird. That is weird. Schedule night mode. The strength should not be full, but anyways. 
Let's put both of them to here. Let's see what's going on. So, yeah, it's a slightly wider screen there, but I think um, the Advance should have a more uh, better screen. But it's very hard to tell. They're both pretty good. Although this is 144 hertz, so you get, um, and with lower response times, so you can get um, some uh, some jitter. So, yeah. So this is 120 frames right now. That's 100, 140. Yeah, that's because it's, it's the human animation is reducing the speed. So if I move away, you'll see that they'll have similar. Oh my god! No, it's really weird. Because now the CPU, look at this. The CPU on the 11th gen here is actually, it's probably something to do with cooling. It's giving you more, more uh, latency. Whereas on the 10th gen, it's giving seven. So this is probably single core latency because uh, single core latency, the, the 11th gen, go, 10th gen goes to 5.1 gigahertz and the 11th gen goes to 4.6. So for gaming, you don't necessarily gain it always. Interesting. So yeah, this the mock switch that allows you direct connection as well as um, higher frequency means that actually for gaming, um, it's not that much better to have the 11th gen. While actually for Windows and for everything else, for like Geekbench, this is a lot faster. So there you go. Ah, oh, we're dead. We played really, really badly. I'm sorry, I, this is not a tutorial on how to play um, Warzone. But uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you for having this little uh, Razorblade base. Razorblade Advanced. 2080 Super, RDX 3070.